hump day. I hope everyone is humping. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to Disneyland. Show yourself. We're going to the happiest place on earth. I'm driving as you can see. This is the first time I've ever driven to Disneyland. It's a big day overall. We're almost there. I took all side streets on the way here, so we really got to know the area of Garden Grove. Yeah, so anyway, today I donated some clothes to a woman's home. Not a woman's home, but like a women's home. So that was good. I brought three bags. They were really heavy, and I parked far away, so I had to carry them, and two men laughed at me instead of offering to help. So I thought that was disappointing, but other than that, it went well. Dylan, what did you do today? Okay, and now enough screen time for you. Dylan said he has a headache, which is unfortunate. I have a headache also, but it's because my ponytails are too tight, but I'm not gonna loosen them. So I'm just getting used to having a headache. Dylan, I don't wanna hold, I'm driving a car. Yeah, can I stop, can you do the rest? We're almost there. Wait, I'm getting tired from holding it like this. You're getting tired from holding the camera. Don't like you brag about lifting millions of pounds, but okay. you can't I'm hold this. I'm extending my arm the whole entire time. Can you just fit? I'm not your truck button. Well, you're resting on Dylan's peepee -pee right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! All right. Hey guys, finally made it. There was a little bit of confusion because I didn't know how to park. Or not, I knew how to park. I didn't know where to park. So I had to do some U-turns. And after many, many a U-turn, we have made it. And there's a car that's being broken into, as you can hear. It's been beeping for quite some time now. So anyway, I'm just waiting for Dylan to finish posting an Instagram. And for then work. we- For work. And then we will be on our merry little way. Hey bro, just lizzle. Just take a chill pill. Oh, we're rolling. <clears throat> really happy here with my bestie Wait. um we just went on incredible <laughs> we just went on incredibles coaster the incredible coaster. <laughs> incredibles coaster it was very fun we it's just went on the incredible right over roller here coaster. the incredibles roller coaster ride here's the beautiful Ferris wheel? Ferris wheel. We're waiting for a reservation at this place. Dylan got a brand new phone. He's really obsessed with it. Do you want to show everyone? Yes, I one sec. He's obsessed, I'm telling you. As See, if he needed to be more obsessed here, with a here phone. You go. This is my new phone. Oh, sorry, one sec. He has two phones, a little sketchy in my opinion, but sketchy. I'm trying to be chill. How is that sketchy? It's sketchy when you have a burner phone and a normal phone. Well, I need it for all my meth deals. <laughs> as you can see, Dylan is beautifully propped up on the sledge. Actually, as you can see, Dylan completely copied my outfit. So Dylan and I are at the restaurant. I forget what it's called. <laughs> so Dylan's had a few drinks. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Our man really likes us. Also, my cousin works here. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, because you're nice and you're long lost cousin. Yes, he's long lost cousin. <laughs> the man's bringing us donuts for our reconciliation. <laughs> Eamon's in the back. Funny, I went to look for the lead and I was like, can I ask if I could get you guys donuts? Yeah. And he was sitting there and I'm like, can I get donuts for his long lost cousin? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Long <laughs> lost. <laughs> <laughs> like we've been looking for him. <laughs> Hello, cast and crew of Quincy Feldman's YouTube channel. Quincy, you have returned from the bathroom. I forgot to film. But I wanted to tell you I love you very much. And I'm excited for the rest of our lives together. I love you. Hello to all my friends and family. As you may remember, this is my dog, Rocky. He is going through puberty right now. He's very hormonal. He's humping everything. We need to get him neutered immediately because he can't stop, won't stop with the humping. But yeah, we need to chop those balls off. Anyway, yeah, two days ago we went to Disneyland. I barely filmed anything because 
We are just having so much fun. Today I'll be cooking lunch for myself and for Dylan because I am so kind. Some updates on our lives. I think we lost our passports, but hopefully we're gonna find them because we're supposed to go to Mexico next week with our friends Krista and Bryce. We actually have a lot coming up. June is the month, what, there's like a hurricane going on outside. June is the month that Claire and Evan get married. So we have the wedding. We have like a few vacations planned. So we're gonna be very busy. So today I will be, I will be preparing salmon and I'm gonna make sweet potatoes. Yeah, also I have this ginormous honking daddy pimple on the side of my face. It takes up like my whole head, so. I have a pimple patch on it. It's just not good. So anyway, as you can see, we have two orange foods. A fun fact, I went through a phase where I only ate orange food. I'm gonna go shower here in my instant hotel. Oh yeah, Dylan and I watched a show called Instant Hotel. Season two, it came out in 2019. Gina Sharon's Yeah, we hate Gina Sharon. Gina's very entertaining. Yeah. Sharon's the wicked witch of the West. Sharon's a biatch. So first, this is how I make the sweet potatoes. I just put olive oil in a pan. Then, all you have to do is some salt and pepper. Shake it. Cool. Okay, and then for the salmon, I just put olive oil and some seasoning, and then I cook it in the air fryer. I'm gonna do salt. Instead of normal pepper, I'm gonna put lemon pepper, and then I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Okay, and then that's it. Also, I would like to take a moment to congratulate my cousin. She has a boyfriend. She got a boyfriend. It's her first boyfriend ever, and she's 21. We're just really happy for her. Congratulations. I'm also making a kale salad because Dylan doesn't eat a lot of greens, so. So I'm just gonna do kale and then like cut up apples and then like Caesar dressing. What? Dylan's also very into TikTok right now. Check out this paint correction job we did a few weeks ago. Check out this paint correction. That's probably the best one. You can follow my company's TikTok. If you're into car detailing videos and paint correction and satisfying videos, stay tuned. I'm making you eat a salad, okay? You still haven't showered? I was pushing my... I had these bags and then I was pushing my teeth. You had to poop. <laughs> so the salad and then the sweet potato and then the salmon. And then this hunk. Hunk a hunk of burning love. So a short story that I have to tell is last night, Dylan was working on his website for his company and he was doing some typing, some spelling and what have you. And then he put a hyphen somewhere and I, <laughs> I told him, I don't think there needs to be a hype in there. And he looks at me like I'm Dumbo. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You looked at me and you were like, I was pretty good at grammar. I think I know how to use a hyphen or something like that. Then he Googled it and there was no hyphen to be had. This was a good salad. Thank you. I think once you pulled out the, I went to college card and oh, <laughs> just choked on the vinaigrette. It's Caesar dressing. What the? So Quincy basically made me feel bad for not going to college. No, that wasn't the point. So Dylan and I ate our food. Also, I made this sweatshirt. Good news, everyone. Dylan found our passports. So now we can go to Mexico and we can return into the United States of America. Dylan's putting on his Spidey suit. Iraqi's never seen him in his Spider-Man suit, so we thought that it had to be done. Spider-Man here. It's me, Peter Parker. Your back is so muscular. It's from all my web sleeping. Hey, Rocky. It's me. It's me. Oh. It's me. Oh. It's me. It's me. I didn't mean to scare you like that. Aww. Hey guys, back again. Tonight me and Dylan are going clubbing, so we're super excited. We're gonna hit up probably Poppy, probably maybe Delilah's. I'll be wearing a little black dress and my new, um, I was gonna say my red bottoms, but yeah. <laughs> my sugar daddy paid for them. This guy over here, so sweet of him. Do you think this picture frame will withstand the weight of my camera, Dylan? No. You don't think? No. You don't think? 
Plants. Wait, be honest. You know what? Yeah, if my camera fell out, you don't have any ledges for me to put my camera, Dylan. It's not very considerate of you, now is it? This hairstyle is the worst. It's hurting my head so much. He just doesn't understand. He says, "Why do I see myself?" Hello, people. Welcome back. Today is Saturday. Last night, Dylan and I watched Between Two Ferns. It's with Zach Galifianakis. I think that's how you say his name. Today, I've just been doing some content stuff that I needed to complete. I also did myself tanner. It was a part of my content that I needed to complete, but... So this is just because of my eczema. It's not like messed up. But look at like my hands. I had a ring here. That's why there's like that line but it looks so good and like i don't mean to be like well that was awkward basically i'm really into self tanning i self tan a lot to be honest and i've never used bondi sands or bondi sands however you say it and safe to say i am thoroughly impressed we're making dinner right now dylan is making steak because i don't know how to make it and i'm making broccoli and rice because i know how to make that sing the song sing the Good meat. Hello, people. It is now 8 o'clock p.m. I just ran into Trader Joe's to get wine. It was honestly a little bit of an overstimulating experience. I was standing in the wine aisle with wine in my hands, and this boy, this little boy, he wasn't that little though. He was probably like 11. He came sprinting down the wine aisle, and I'm holding my wine. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then at the checkout, sometimes I get carded and sometimes I don't, but this guy carded me and he asked me when my birthday was and tell me why I like blacked out and didn't know when my birthday was, but I pulled it together. And anyways, now I'm here. Dylan is having friends over tonight, his like guy friends, and I did not invite anyone over because I wanted to have alone time. <laughs> And be by myself. So I'm back at home. I'm opening my wine. Something that is on my mind sometimes. Or recently it's been on my mind. I don't know why. Whatever you're going through is like very crucial to the plot of your life right? Whether it's good or bad, your growth as a human being relies on every experience that you encounter. And I think that people, okay, so actually I remember how this was a thought in my head. I was thinking about my life, right? I, I have a good life, generally speaking, or like relatively speaking. I have good parents, good family, great boyfriend. We have a puppy together. We live together. Just like everything that I have is everything that I've ever wanted, not to be dramatic. And I feel so grateful for that. Someone's coming to interrupt me. Oh. You just got one bottle. No, I got four. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I completely lost my train of thought. All of the experience that I've had in my whole entire life, you know, has amounted to this moment. Good morning, people. It is now Monday morning, and I think this is gonna be the final bit of this little video. I don't even know if I would call this a vlog or what, because I don't even know really what I've been doing or filming or saying. I am slightly concerned that nothing I've talked about even will make sense, and I don't know. But yeah, so right now I am on my way to my family's house. My mom and I are going to Burke Williams today. I am almost out of gas and my tire is almost flat. So let's hope we uh, make it there safely. Rocky's gonna hang out with his brother today. I'm trying to think if I like have anything exciting to share, but honestly, I don't really think I have anything to share. I guess I could kind of tell you some tea without giving you the direct like, who it's about if you guys follow me on instagram maybe you saw that i posted this it was just like a quote about like how much do i have to endure for the sake of your good intentions or something like that and then i briefly shared that like that was like something i'm going through right now and yeah i kind of changed my mind on it i do not actually think that this person has very good intentions <laughs> so there's like an update basically there is a lot going on behind the scenes Dylan and I are good. Everyone is good. Everything's perfect, actually. 
knock on wood or something. I don't have any wood. Everything's good except for this one person is really causing a commotion in my life right now. And I am trying to navigate that. Every week in therapy, that's like all I talk about. What's wrong? And it's honestly been like the only topic in therapy for me for like the past few months yeah but basically just to sum it up for you i was always trying to keep the peace and like trying to be the cool one the chill one trying to be mature bigger person blah 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 blah, blah. and finally that after this last turn of events that happened i decided i not that i don't want to be the bigger person but like i need to set some boundaries and put my foot down because if I don't, it's not going to stop and within myself, to my core, I am like becoming very angry and resentful towards this person and it's because I'm just like bottling it up and I'm a bottler by the way, I bottle everything up and so yeah, I'm just bottling it up and finally I was like, I can't do that anymore. I need to like put my foot down, stop making excuses for this person and me keeping peace for them. Like I deserve peace. I hope this is making sense. I'm kind of getting riled up about it, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But if you need to set boundaries with people, this is your sign that you need to do that because it's not fair to you to get stepped all over like a doormat just so the other person can be on their jolly way and not give a flying frick about you so that's what i gotta say about that all right i will see you guys next time thank you for watching hello people i decided to return back again it's 6 30 p.m i'm getting gas right now i feel like i kind of left this video on kind of a negative note i was a little bit riled up so i've decided to leave this off on a positive note anyway happy almost summertime super excited for summertime love you all thank you